Hi, I'm Veronica Wasik, and I help Shopify sellers to set up, organize, and streamline their financial systems, whether you're looking for DIY, done with you, or done for you financials. Are you looking to integrate Shopify and QuickBooks online and confused by all the choices? The best app that I have found is A2X. In this video, I'll give you a tour of the Shopify and QBO integration using A2X. Shopify and QuickBooks Online integration. If you watched my other videos, you know that I recommend A2X for integrating Shopify and QuickBooks Online. Unlike other apps, A2X sends over summarized transactions into QuickBooks Online and it saves you time from doing manual entries into QBO. With A2X, you can also get your Shopify historical transactions. So even if you haven't started your books in a while, or even haven't done your books for a while, you can get your historical transactions into QBO. So let's get started with the tour of Shopify and QuickBooks Online integration. Let's go to the A2X website. Go to a2xaccounting.com and then you'll land on their homepage. You'll see that they have links for e-commerce sellers and accountants. And you'll see that A2X not only works with Shopify, but also Amazon, Walmart, and eBay. Let's look at the pricing for Shopify. Click pricing. And you'll see that there are various uh, levels at which you can start with A2X. Most of it is dependent on the number of orders that you have. So it'll go from $19 a month to $99 a month, and they even have larger plans. To get started with A2X, just click Try A2X Free, and then choose A2X for Shopify. And you can set up an account with your Google account or with your existing Intuit account. Once you set up your account, notice that you'll be in trial mode and you'll be able to get every, everything set up, but you won't be able to send transactions over to QuickBooks other than just maybe a couple of transactions until you choose a plan. First thing you need to do is to connect to your Shopify account. So just click here to continue with Shopify and then enter your store name, click connect, and then follow the prompts. The second step will be to connect to QuickBooks. So just click on connect to QuickBooks, click connect to QuickBooks, enter your QuickBooks user ID and password, sign in and follow the prompts to connect to QuickBooks. After you connect to your Shopify account and to your QuickBooks account, you'll need to configure your accounting and taxes. This is where we need to map all of the Shopify transactions over to the QuickBooks accounts from the chart of accounts. So in order to be able to do this mapping, you first have to set up the accounts in the chart of accounts. Make sure that you sign up for my Shopify bookkeeping blueprint. Once you do that, I will send you this document, just a, a short PDF and in it, it lists the accounts that you need to set up in the chart of accounts. In step one of the free blueprint, you'll see that I list the accounts that you need to set up in the chart of accounts, income, cost of goods sold, inventory, other accounts. And then you'll also need to set up clearing accounts for all of your payment processors as I've listed here. And you'll also need to set up the accounts for the payment processor fees. So make sure that you sign up to download the uh, free Shopify bookkeeping blueprint. Once you do that, then you'll be able to select the corresponding account that goes with discounts, for example. So in that case, you would select Shopify discounts from QuickBooks and map that to the discounts transaction type from Shopify. You will do that for gift card liabilities, 
other payment and selling fees, etc. Go all the way down. And for gateway transactions, you'll need to click on this plus sign here on the right and map all of the different uh, payment processor uh, transactions to their corresponding clearing account. So for example, for Shopify payments, you'll need to map those to Shopify payments clearing. For PayPal transactions, you'll need to map those to PayPal clearing. If you take Amazon Pay, then you'll select Amazon Pay Clearing, um, et cetera. If you use Affirm, Afterpay, Klarna, whatever that is, you need to map those gateway transactions to their corresponding clearing accounts. Once you do all that, make sure that you save your mappings. And finally, make sure that you also update your settings. It's auto invoicing will start sending transactions over to QuickBooks automatically. You may not want to yet turn that on until you've made sure that you've tested your integration and make sure everything's working the way you expect. So let's say that you started your Shopify store six months ago and um, you're just getting things set up. You can actually request all of your history from this section uh, once you pay for your plan. So then um, you'll be able to get all of your historical transactions from Shopify and your different payment processors. And finally, if you don't want A2X sending you an email every time that it does a, a transaction import, just go ahead and unclick these and click save. So what happens after you make the connection between Shopify and QuickBooks and get everything set up the way that you need to. Then you'll need to go to payouts and you'll see all of the different transactions that A2X has pulled from Shopify and you'll see them listed one by one. And they, they are summarized transactions, which as I said before, is the beauty of using A2X that it does summarize your transactions and it does them on a daily basis. And then it also will summarize them based on the payment gateway that you're using. So you may see Shopify payments, Amazon payments, PayPal, Klarna, Affirm, etc. For every transaction that you see, you can actually review that transaction and see the um, entry that it will make into QuickBooks. So just once you click into that, then click on this down arrow and you'll see the actual Shopify transactions, the amounts, and then the account in QuickBooks that these transactions will be sent to. Notice also that there is this box that says sent. And that indicates whether the transaction was sent over to QuickBooks. If it's blue, it means that it was sent to QuickBooks. If it's red, then it indicates that it was not sent to QuickBooks. So you do have to be careful and make sure that transactions are sent over to QuickBooks. Initially though, it will default to not sending any transactions to QuickBooks. So um, you'll probably see that all of these will be red in the beginning and I really recommend making sure that you test a few transactions, uh, test sending some transactions over to QuickBooks before you send everything into QuickBooks. I'm Veronica Wasek with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. Are you ready to work with an experienced and reliable Shopify accounting pro? Check the description box to learn more about my services and how we might work together. If this content is helping you, then subscribe to my channel, ring the bell to be notified about my latest videos, and give me a thumbs up. And check the description box below for all of my free resources, including my free Shopify bookkeeping blueprint and the link to join my Facebook community. And let me know in the comments if there are any other topics you'd like me to cover in the future. I'm here to help. I'll see you next time.